Um, yes, I was upset, I was disappointed, but then in one month I lost 12 kilos. So um, I had some uh, eating disorders. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. This video is a little bit different to my usual videos about health, nutrition, uh, exercise, supplements, weight loss, uh, uh, competitions, uh, muscle gain. So this video is about my childhood because a lot of you asking me where do you come from, uh, why do you come to UK and how do you learn your English? Why decide uh, to be a fitness coach and clinical nutritionist? So, um, uh, to be honest, I never was uh, interested in fitness or health. As a child, I've always been overweight. I was constantly eating. That's why my nickname was Cow. I was constantly eating something. Then I saw the advertising somewhere, Miss Uzbekistan 2000. So I asked my mom, my mom kind of, oh no. So we went to casting, obviously they said to me, you're fat, you cannot enter this competition. And then something clicked in my brain. I was constantly thinking what that man said. Sorry, your child is fat. You cannot enter this competition. I was in tears. My mom tried to calm me and said, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And I said, no, mom, we're coming back in one month. He said we have to be in one month. So in one month, I lost 12 kilos. I was exercising a lot. My cardio was ridiculous. My cardio was all day. My diet was cabbage and apples. No fats, no protein. I was passing out. But in the end, I placed third. They had the different categories. I was so happy that I did it. I was really happy. But then I developed eating disorder, which is anorexia and bulimia. Then it was very hard because there was arguments with my mom and I was refusing food. She tried to help me, but I didn't listen to anyone. I just didn't want to eat. So if you want me to make a video about these subjects, please comment below and I will make a video. This is a one of the reasons why I wanted to learn about nutrition. I simply wanted to help myself. But I want to learn about the health and how to deal with a certain eating disorders, uh, not in Uzbekistan, not in Russia. I wanted to go to London. It was my dream to go to London. Uh, it was my dream to study English. And I was very, very good at school. And at that time, uh, my dad was very patriotic about language, what English language. Oh, no, 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 you cannot study English language. No, we are in Uzbekistan. We love Uzbekistan. We are the best. So, um, uh, on each attempt, um, learning new language, uh, I would always get punished. Uh, each attempt, I would save money to buy books. Uh, my dad would throw them out of the fourth floor, uh, out of the window, and said, no, you cannot study another language. But time passed, and um, yes, I came to UK, and I was so happy, and I started studying. The other day, my friend said to me, uh, will you ever stop studying? And I said, no, probably never. And she said, don't you think you have enough qualifications? And I said, it's never enough. And I will never stop studying. I will be 100, 200. I will have lots of degrees, diplomas, certificates. I love study. And I think it's great when you learn something new. This is underground in Tashkent. It looks like a museum. It's absolutely gorgeous so when i used underground in london for the first time i couldn't believe the difference uh, at the beginning i thought uh, the underground in london maybe they just start building or maybe they haven't finished it or uh, what happened why is it so different because uh, i used to see the underground that looked like a museum if you've been in moscow you will see exactly the same in moscow underground it's like going to a museum 
it's gorgeous it's beautiful uh, I don't say the underground in London is bad uh, I mean it's different this is the new trains now in Tashkent but they are used to be the old trains and they're still running and I used to use this with my grandma bless her People said to me, so you came to London when you were 16, 17, wasn't you scared? Of course I was scared. It was difficult to find work when I was only 16, 17. So I lied about my age just to get any jobs. I was working hard. I paid for my college to study English. I never give up. I had a goal. I had a passion. I wanted to learn and I wanted to live in the UK and I wanted to buy a house. I wanted to buy a car. So I was hungry for it and I did it. I'm very proud that I did it. I think if you work hard, you can achieve anything. On a photo you see Uzbekistan market where you buy food, clothes. Uzbekistan, I mean Tashkent, have uh, supermarkets, but the prices are ridiculous. So it's best to shop in the market. Uh, supermarkets, it's for tourists. I think if I was a lazy person, then it would be very, very hard to come to different country and start live on my own. But I did. But I think um, because I love study, so I had to find work to pay for my colleges, for universities. So I always study. I used to record lectures for six hours and listen them while I was asleep. Uh, I didn't sleep much because I wanted to learn and learn and learn. I wanted to learn everything. That's why I stayed late nights and still do. I always stay late nights and study. If one day you will decide to go to Uzbekistan, you'll be shocked when you'll see the same brand cars on the road. So you wouldn't see Range Rovers or Hyundai's. And I guess it is because of the tax. For example, if you buy a car for $10,000, you have to pay $10,000 to bring to Uzbekistan. So that's why people buy their own brands. And it's only one brand, Dell. You would ask, how did I dealt with eating disorder, anorexia and bulimia? I learned a lot about it. And that's why I wanted to help a lot of people who have eating disorder. And that's why every single client with who I worked have success. Because I understand and I feel what they're going through. A lot of professionals uh, know the theory, but they don't know in practice what the, that particular person feel and what that particular person need. I do know how to help people. And that's why I'm so proud that every single client who I worked with have success. I think the most important thing in life is to not give up. If you set the goal, go for it. Be hungry for it. Be like a shark. Uh, look forward. Work hard. Uh, sleep. Sleep can wait. You will sleep when you die. When you're here, you have to work hard to achieve anything. Nothing is free. You have to work for it. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's difficult. But guess what? Nothing easy and nothing free. When you have passion, desire, and you're hungry for whatever you want to achieve, you will achieve it. Work hard, wake up early, and you will get it. I also would like to thank my childhood friend, Alfia, who took all these video shots where we grew up. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like my story, my childhood. If you have any ideas, any questions, please comment below. Otherwise, look after yourself, look after your health. Your health is your wealth. And I will see you very, very soon.